had the incredible opportunity to paint the Honourable Chief Justice of the High Court, Susan Kiefel. It was an amazing experience. She has an incredibly commanding presence, but she's also wonderfully graceful. So we have the sitting in camera in the Chief Justice's chambers in the High Court. During that time I got lots of photographs, I did some sketches, I asked some questions and then I sit down and I really look through back through the photographs and start thinking about how I want to portray this person. While photographs are great for reference, during the sitting I also draw from life to pick up those details that the camera can miss. In order to celebrate a hundred years of achievement of women in law in New South Wales, I thought the books would actually be a really great um, symbol to include. Not only visually does it represent knowledge, but there's also a really beautiful rhythm that runs across the middle of the painting. So once I have the concept all sorted out and in the sketch, to get from this to this here, that's where the real work happens and it's many, many hours of work. The way that I've constructed this painting is through layers and two main techniques called glazing and scumbling. Glazing consists of putting semi-transparent layers and what happens is that you can see through it but it's slightly coloured and the light reflects back out through the painted surface. The Chief Justice was wearing this beautiful blue suit. When I've replicated this blue suit, I've actually made it brighter. There's an ultramarine blue and a Prussian blue used in varying layers of glazes. I think with this bright blue, this intense blue, I think she looks like a superhero, which fits in with my theme of representing an amazing woman. The original ultramarine blue comes from lapis lazuli, which is a semi-precious rock that is dug up and ground into a fine powder and then blended with mediums. You'll see it used to represent the Virgin Mary in a lot of religious works because of that preciousness. And what I'm trying to do is look at some of art history and say, hey, how can we look at representing things differently? How can we change this silhouette of power that's already been established? When I met the Chief Justice, she was wearing these incredible heels. They were absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, shiny, patterned black leather. When I saw those heels, I knew that, hey, this is something I'd really love to include in the portrait. The inclusion of the shoes also came from a conversation that I had with the Chief Justice. She recalled when Theresa May was appointed as the UK PM by the Queen, she was wearing gorgeous leopard print kitten heels. I think this can be seen as a symbol of how incredible intellect can come with a sense of playfulness and fun.